Good morning, guys. Welcome to riding day. Today I'm gonna ride. Did I just do this? Gonna ride my horse because I've been waiting to. I've been dying to. I'm gonna tell you my problems. You guys, so hot. Please start I've been saying the same problem over and over, and even my friends are like sick of me because they already tell me what I need to do. And then I just don't do it. And then I complain about the same problem over and over. So, <laughs> welcome to this. Here it I is know. hot. So, essentially, I'm going to ride Penny today. I'm excited to ride her. Essentially, I'm going to ride Penny today. And I'm excited to ride her. The problem is, is that when we're at home, she's like, help, help. I need to be with my friends. And I'm like, we're just going around the property. And she's like, no, I need to be with my friends take her away from her friends and she's got no friends and she's like I will do whatever you want I just want her to ride at home like she does when she's got no friends so anyway and she's not really really bad because my friends like this is what you need to do just do it and I'm like yeah I don't like to do that <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna ride her today and I'm gonna make her listen to me I want to take her up the driveway I want to go someplace like a new adventure on our property. I wouldn't ride on these rocks because these rocks are Yeah, I don't want to ride her on rocks for sure. But, I want to ride. So anyway, Sophie and I are headed to the dollar store and I'm looking for some rings so I can make adjustments to my amazing, beautiful rope halter and then we're gonna come home and get ready to ride. Oh, oh wait you guys, we're here at the store but I have to tell you guys something crazy. So I told you the other day, I, an update on Sam's truck. It's been in the shop for two months and the insurance company just has not been pulling Sam in. back. Has not been answering him. Yeah, go ahead. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Anyways. So basically, they called him a couple of days ago or two days ago and said like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Your file got lost in our file system, blah, blah, blah. But I, it should have went to a manager. I got it now. I'll deal with it. And then as soon as that happened, they dealt with it really quick. But anyways, you will not believe why sam's truck caught on fire do you guys want to know do you actually want to know why we have not had a truck for two entire months and we've been waiting for it to get fixed do you want to know why sam's truck blew up do you want to know why a mouse a mouse climbed up into the engine and built a nest and chewed the wires and started a fire in his engine so yeah that's what happened it was a mouse. A mouse destroyed my dream of trail riding with my horse. The minute I finally got a horse, destroyed. But anyway, hopefully it'll all be figured out by uh, the next month or so. And I will be able to take all of our horses trail riding. Hopefully Chino will be feeling better and he can decompress on trail rides. And also people have been asking like, when are you taking him back? I thought you were just bringing him home so that you can soak his foot. Yeah, true. But we're probably going to keep him home until the farrier comes the next time so she can like do some stuff and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I like having him home. It's no skin off our backs. But anyway, there's a lady outside the window staring at me and she moved from one spot to another so she could be closer and she's just staring at me. So I'm going to go. Sophie has been in a uh, painting. But I don't want the flat one. I want one. So she's been in a painting mood. Do you know what I really want to do? I want to really want to do rope art. Like I think that'd be so fun. I want these, but they're two forty nine. Two forty nine for a tiny one? Wow! And this one's six dollars. We could go to the other dollar store, and they'd be so cheap. But they're cool. Yeah, that's worth it. Oh, look at these paper shapes. You could paint these. And they're thick, and you can paint like butterflies and hang them up. I think that's so cool. I might get this one, and then some other stuff. All right, so what I want are these things called O-rings, like this. This is what I want right here. Just these rings right here that kind of open but don't really, and that you, that's what I want. Oh, look, there they are right there. Keychain set, $1.50. That's what I want. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah, that's huge. That's a rat trap. That is a rat trap. A yeah, wow, the difference in size. So these are what I found. I found some thicker ones. Thicker and bigger compared to these. Let me just show you. 
So I'm gonna go with the thicker ones just to see if I can get them to work, but I'm excited. I don't know if you guys can see, but, oh, I think, yeah, look, all that black stuff flies. These things work, holy heck. We're gonna have to get more of those. I've never seen anything work so good before, but that is amazing. So I ended up adding rings to my halter. Uh, I wanted to hook them into the knots, but these knots are so tight that it's actually really hard to add them. I think that this will be okay, and I might wrap this in vet wrap just in case it goes against your skin, but I think I can put it on in a way that, see there's one between, one rope between her and the knot, or and the ring. There's one piece of rope between her face and the knot. So I think I'm gonna try it. Well, hello. Hello, princess. Hello. Hello. Anyway, I came down to ride. I got my riding clothes on. I am ready to ride, except for that I'm not. I've been lazy all afternoon. Sometimes when you sit down, like I literally sat down, had lunch, the girls have been painting. I've been loving watching them paint. Like. Sometimes when it's summer and you've just been bored all summer, it kind of pushes you to do other things and they've been painting and drawing. It's so cute. I'll show you if they want me to show you guys later what they made. It's so adorable. And like I love them both, what they made. And I've just been like relaxing and enjoying the, the non-humid weather. I feel like if I don't ride today, then I'm gonna get stuck again if it gets too hot. But I just don't feel like it. I felt like it this morning and now I just don't feel like it. Forgive me, Penny Pickle. I'll give you a brush and pick your feet, okay? <laughs> She's like, no, I want to ride. <laughs> I never should have sat down to have lunch. The trouble is, is that if I take too long, if I take too long, then I run out of time because if I'm going to ride, it means that I only have so much time because we have to go to the barn soon. Which is a total excuse. I could ride. I just don't feel, just don't have the energy. I literally just picked all her feet. All her feet, she just stands here. Not even a rope. Not a halter, not anything. I love that. I've also still been like taking really good care of her legs because even though she's, even though she's done with her heat, she's still, I still just want to make sure she doesn't get too sore. I literally feel like a failure. I could tell she was excited to do stuff. I feel like a failure. So, I figured out, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I figured out what I did wrong with the chicken crumble. I told you guys yesterday that I ordered a chicken mash thinking that it was crumble. So, apparently there's a mash, a pellet, and a crumble. So the crumble is what I wanted. I wanted the crumble because it's easier for them to eat and I have small breed chickens and it's especially important for them. So I wanted the crumble, but I ordered but I ordered mash. And a mash is more of a treat. It's meant for a treat. I knew that it couldn't be their regular food because regular their regular meal shouldn't have corn in it. Corn is more like for a treat food. So anyways, I thought they would just gobble it all down. I fed it to them yesterday and I thought they would just gobble it all down because it's such a treat for them and they still have quite a bit left so tomorrow i will add the rest tomorrow i'll go back to feeding like the pellet and the cr and the and the crumble that i have and i won't order mash ever again but to be honest i actually wanted a treat for them and i call it scratch that's what we call it that's what i've always called it like the treat stuff and but i guess it's called a mash mash scratch it's all the same <laughs> They never asked me to clarify. So anyway, that's what I ended up getting. That's what I have. I wanted that anyways as a special treat for them some days. I have a huge bag. It'll carry us through like to the winter. So I'm glad to have it. Grateful to have it. But we're going to go back to our regular pellets and crumble. There you go. Chickens 101. Don't you know that you're beautiful?